it's Alex here from wpeagle.com. In this video, I'm making a video, it's a request. Uh, I got a question from a guy called Roy, who um, is basically looking to add images in a grid linking through to pages. He'd seen it on a website, which I'll put up on the screen now. And yeah, he wanted something that looks a bit like this. Now with WordPress, there's quite a few ways you could achieve this. Um, you could have a portfolio, and some themes come with a portfolio feature built in, or you could get a portfolio plugin. And you could basically add portfolio items with images, and it would look like this, and then when you clicked through, it would show the portfolio kind of piece. So you could have some more images and some more words on that particular page. Um, the way that I'm going to use today, though, is um, I'm just going to kind of use what I've got. Uh, I'm going to be using the demo site, which um, we set up a little while ago. Well, I set up. <laughs> I did a video. Hopefully, maybe you set it up too. Um, I'll put a link um, to that video if you want to go and check it out. So in that video, I use a theme called Free Clicks, and that comes with a number of uh, built-in kind of short codes that allow you to add things like columns. And that's what I'm going to use uh, to create this effect um, that Roy's trying to achieve. Now, if your theme supports columns, you could probably uh, kind of copy what I'm doing. Um, if your theme doesn't have any columns, then just do a little search for a column plugin, and that should give you the functionality that you need um, so that you, again, could kind of replicate what I'm gonna do right now. So um, yeah, without any more chit chat from me, let's get started. Okay, so as I said, we're gonna be doing it on this demo site, um, which is over at 2015demo.wpeagle.com. I say it's using the premium theme free clicks. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna log in to my WordPress admin. And then we're gonna create a page and um, I say I'm gonna add some columns. And then each one of those columns is gonna have an image in it, um, or more than one image in fact, um, so that they're kind of on top of each other, that then links through to somewhere else. So I've logged in. So let's create a new page. Okay, so the page I'm gonna create, I'm just gonna call it events because that's um, the name of the page that Roy likes. And then what we're gonna do, because this has got four columns, one, two, three, four, I'm gonna add four columns to our page here. So I'm gonna to switch to the page builder. If you're using um, a plugin, you might need to use short codes. If you're using a theme like Free Clicks, it's probably got a nice uh, visual composer. that looks something like this. So what you need to find is the columns Let's add four columns, we're just dragging them down onto the little plus. So that's our four columns, and then each one I'm just gonna add an image. So to do that on this theme, it's HTML. On some, it's image. Then this brings up the WordPress editor, we can click Add Media, and then Upload Files, and I can select them from my computer. I've actually taken a few of those images from that site that Roy likes. Now. We need to fill in the caption because that's going to add a bit of text below the image. Make sure it's centered and then we can link here through to our URL, wherever we want to link to. Whatever, I haven't got a URL, so uh, I'm just going to make this up. But you, you will obviously copy and paste the URL to where you want the image to link to. So there's our first column. Let's add another HTML. I'm going to need to upload the image, add media. The next one is called Hitachi HR. So Hitachi HR training day, I think it was called. Again, you set your link. I won't bother on every single one, but I think you get the idea. So let's just add these last two very quickly. Now, obviously, if you have any questions, then just let me know. Uh, Roy obviously did, and um, he's got a video, hopefully, if this <laughs> this goes well and I publish it. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm here to help, and happy to make videos or answer questions if you need uh, answers. Obviously WordPress related, ideally, but whatever you like. Okay, last one. Takes a little time, obviously, and if you've got lots of images, it's gonna be a little while, but I'm sure it'll be worth it. So let's go for Avon event. Capture again. Good, let's publish the page then and see what it looks like. There we go, it's starting to come together. So now, obviously, if we wanna add another row, Simply go back in, 
We don't need to add any more columns really. We can just click on this plus here. Go HTML again. And add another image. So uh, let's upload another one. British Royal, British Prelibs. Eh, it doesn't really matter, does it? I don't know what a prelib is, I think. I got that wrong, but hey, it doesn't really matter for this. There we go. I won't add any more. What I would do actually is probably add a little um, divider between. So I just added a divider there. And um, let's see what that looks like. That's view page. There we go. And obviously, as we add more and more, it will start to come together really nicely. And then you know, these are clickable to the links that you set. So Roy, I hope that was helpful. I hope that's what you're trying to achieve. If not, then drop me another email and uh, we'll, I'll see if I can help you out. Uh, if you like my videos and you want to learn more about WordPress, things like that, please subscribe and like my videos. It, it does does really help in terms of getting them found, etc. And until next time, I'll see you later.